Given stratigraphic context, as defined within borehole logs, the stratigraphic model program within RockWorks is used to create three-dimensional stratigraphic diagrams. These diagrams are created by interpolating surface models, or grids, based on the context between the formations. The advantages and limitations of the various surface modeling algorithms that RockWorks offers is described in more detail within other RockWare videos. Instead, the purpose of this video is to show nuances in how the modeled stratigraphic context may be viewed more effectively. These contacts and the intervals between them are then color-coded in order to create a diagram that depicts the stratigraphy of the project area. In its default configuration, RockWorks treats the contacts as chronostratigraphic time horizons. The grids which represent these contacts cover the extents of the project area, regardless of the corresponding formation thickness. If a formation is not encountered within a borehole, either because of erosion or non-deposition, conceptually, it's still there. It just has zero thickness. This is why it's useful to think of the contacts as representing time horizons or chronostratigraphy. But what if you don't want to see the portions of the formations that are very thin or absent altogether? Select the Hide Thin Zones option within the stratigraphic model menu. This provides a means to omit portions of the stratigraphic units where the formations are very thin. Typically, this applies to zones that have been eroded or where the formation was never deposited. The minimum thickness setting will render zones less than a designated thickness to be invisible. Another useful way to view complex stratigraphic relationships is to vertically separate the units. The Explode option within the stratigraphic model menu provides a means for adding a specified vertical distance between each layer. Simply select the Explode option and specify the vertical separation distance. This allows the viewer to see the morphology of each individual formation within a single diagram. For more detailed information about surface interpolation, thin zone hiding, and vertically separating stratigraphic units, please refer to the Instructions tab within the Stratigraphic Model menu. Thanks for watching.